Hey guys, isn't a Christian hate group, isn't that an oxymoron? Got a minute? So how do Christian hate groups start? Things like the KKK and some of these other groups. One of the main things that we see these people do is something called proof texting. Proof texting is whenever you have your own ideas and your own thoughts and then you go to the Bible and you use the Bible to prove what it is that you already know or think that you know. So if you go to the Bible to find scriptures to prove your point of view, then you're using scripture wrong. It's not that scripture can't prove a point, but whenever we approach scripture, we should be looking for the scripture itself to change us. In the book of Romans, it says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. We are renewing by changing the way that we're thinking because our thinking was brought up in the world. We change our thinking by spending time in Scripture. Scripture should be a life-changing experience. Now, I'm not saying every single time you sit down that it's going to be the heavens open up, but there needs to be some understanding that we're not above the words that are written on the page. A lot of times, the people that have spent a lot of time in church, we will uh, proof text on accident because we feel like we already know who God is and we already know a lot about him. So we use the scripture to prove our point. Instead of being open, we get completely off track by taking our own ideas and trying to make them the Word of God. So whenever you read the Word, whenever you're looking at Scripture, are you open to the things that said there? Because there are times whenever you're going to be confused or you're going to wonder what that, that means in Scripture, and that's okay. So spend some time in Scripture today just basking in it, letting God transform who you are. Thanks for spending a minute.